You did the right thing. <sighs> I did what I had to do. He was your friend. Your arrival has changed everything. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives, now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason, to protect the North Grove. Winter is coming, and we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see how Forrester fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Ironrath. It may already be lost. Gregor trusted you for a reason. You know defending House Forrester is the right thing to do. You're the one they sent, Garrett. You should be the one to decide. I will respect Lord Gregor's dying words. The North Grove will never be lost while we breathe. We will defend it. House Forrester. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they'd bend the knee. And what do I find? <laughs> A child lord. Ethan the Wise. With some parasite by his side. As if I'd come to negotiate. <laughs> and I thought, oh. <laughs> This is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. Grandmother, that day Cersei dragged her before the throne. She claimed loyalty to me right in front of her. And then, that whole business with Tyrion. She stayed loyal to me when it mattered. But now, with all that's happened to her, who knows what Mira was doing behind my back. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the Godswood. Yet before her day was out, a brother was dead atop the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I'd offended him to Frostfinger. And it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. Back from the twins with balls so shrunken he let Griff Whitehill beat him into the mud in his own yard. Reek, 
I had to come and see this walking tragedy for myself. But he didn't even have the courage to stab me with my own blade. Needless to say, I wasn't too impressed. And then I thought, let's play a game. That's when the fun really started. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was cocky, surely, but he wasn't uncharming. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. And he impressed me. He followed my every command, despite what it cost him with his companion. For that, he earned my help and my respect. I wish I could have done more for him. Perhaps if I had, things would have turned out differently. Loyalty. Friendship. Respect. Without them, we have... nothing. I don't know if Mira ever understood that, Grandmother. I know she told me the truth about Sarah, but she also broke a promise to Sarah to keep a secret. In the end, I respect that she was willing to do whatever it took to get what she wanted. But at what cost? Roderick. I could have told him this story wasn't going to have a happy ending. His brother dead, his mother dead, his little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, father. I know these foresters. If they had any sense, they'd know when to bend the knee and live to see another day. They fought hard, I'll give them that, but they were reckless. Shrewd when they should have been bold. Impetuous to the last. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost. Roderick? My lord. We don't have much time. They may have won this battle, but they will not win this war.